Hello everyone! Since my last review of the Beitong Asura 2 Pro Plus, I've been receiving a lot of comments saying that the polling rate does not represent the latency of the controller. So I decided to put it to the test, right? I picked up these three controllers with different polling rates and I did my old fashioned lag test. Using a super slow motion camera and hitting the button really fast, you can see the shockwave traveling through my skin. And this is really fast. You cannot see it with a naked eye. So I use this shockwave as a starting point to measure the latency between these controllers. And for even better results, I coded this small game on Game Maker Studio. Whenever you press the button, the square character becomes red. And this is a good way to show the exact moment that the action happens. And this is the result between the tests of these three controllers. And I was actually surprised to see that the controller with the fastest polling rate turned out to be the slowest of the three. So, in fact, polling rate does not determine the latency. What should we do to test the controllers now? This is where this tool comes in. This is a GPDL, used for measuring gamepad latency. You can build one from the schematic on this GitHub page and use the Gamepad LA software, developed by John Punch. And after building it and writing the correct code to the Arduino chip, you're finally ready to use it. First, you must disassemble the controller and solder a wire to the buttons on the controller. It should be wired to the correct terminal. And for that, you'll have to do some trial and error. If the controller is being tested with a wired connection, you just need to solder one wire. But if you're testing with a dongle or Bluetooth, you must solder two wires. You also need to turn the controller while completely disassembled. Since I'm testing with a wired connection, I'm connecting the controller to the PC and the GPDL to the PC as well. Next, you should follow the instructions on the program and the GPDL will start testing the controller. The chip will repeatedly test the buttons while the program measures the latency. After the test is completed, you can open the results on the website. You can also add the name of the controller. Then select the connection mode you were testing and hit OK. Now you can see the information on your browser. Here you can add more details and upload your tests. And with these results, we can see that the Azura 2 Pro is actually pretty slow. There is already a few gamepads tested and registered on the website. And if we compare the results, we can see that it matches the slow-mo camera test. With the Xbox controller being faster than the Vader 3 Pro, and finally the Asura 2 Pro Plus. And that's it for this video. I'll be using the GPDL in all my reviews from now on in order to bring accurate information to all of my viewers. Meanwhile, feel free to use the Gamepad LA website as a good point of reference when buying a new controller. And the current results are pretty interesting with 8-bit Do, EasySMX, GameSir and GullyKit being the fastest controller so far. But that's with a wired connection. With a dongle connection, we have the Xbox controllers, and with Bluetooth connections, we have the DualShock and the DualSense. Anyway, that's it for this quick video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.